actually my favorite one in the book, it's very short. Song. You love me like an eve, feeding rain to the gutter. I love you like a gutter, fielding rain from the eve. I got some advice from the Mississippi poet C.T. Salazar, who's done many more live readings than me, and he was like, make sure that when you read a poem, you stand there and like sit in it for a moment. I've not done a very good job with that so far. But I was like, let's do that better. You're crushing that. Yeah, there we go, right? I was like, you know, sometimes it, I think advice is just the, the name for good peer pressure, right? It's like peer pressure that we think works or does something nice for us. And that, that poem I wanted to um, do some embarrassing because I can. So that poem was written like right when I met my wife, Christy, who's in the front row. Um, so good for you, you know, since I, I smell obviously great. So that's, that's good evidence of that. Um, but I was writing this poem from Massachusetts when Christy was still, uh, you were in band camp, I think, in Virginia at the time. And so the far and rest, the uh, bound and restless hand so far from yours was, you know, saying something of some kind. So um, this is also part, like, one of the things that um, sort of has been cool to get to know over the course of our relationship um, that, you know, made it into the book in some ways is I've been learning um, American Sign Language for a couple of years. Um, Christy's mom is deaf and I've, I'm not very good at it all the time, but um, her mom is a great teacher, so I've been learning a lot. And this poem in the book is named after a video in ASL called the Funny Zero. So if something's not funny at all, you can type funny and then zero. And that's the title of this poem. Funny Zero. I became a stand-up comedian who told no jokes, only stood up on stage and got laughed at continuously for hour-long sets at a time. Then I'd go back to my dressing room, Count the minutes until midnight when we could celebrate the birth of a new day, arrival in a new city on my nonstop silent tour of America. A flashlight with dead batteries in my backpack for years next to a book of poems by Julian Talmantis Burlaski. I'm going to meet so many new fire hydrants this year, I told myself, back in those times before I wrote my first joke and ruined everything. 